so make your cup no loss. Remember, remember Niger football. Remember when Niger football hold us down. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Football Fan Tribe. And my name is Stokes. This is the Niger Football Focus Show where we'll be discussing everything Nigerian football only and exclusively. So we'll just touch on the major matches from the MPFL, the results, the table, and some major issues as concerning the local Nigerian league. And we'll come travel abroad, look into the best performing Niger players for the last weekend so we could just touch on the main men the main faces we just do one or two things we impress us so this is the niger football focus show and we do this once a week where we discuss niger football exclusively and niger players exclusively so you can join us once a week on this platform but for now based on this niger ghana match they come up share this <laughs> will be on hold for next week and of course we'll be back up our week. All right, if you're new here, this is Football Fans Tribe. We interview Niger Football Fans after matches and we're giving Niger Football Fan content like this back to back. So I beg, just click that subscribe button and thank you so much for watching. You may see me alone, but I'm not alone. I have some uh, distinguished guests in the studio and making a return to NFF, Niger Football Focus. Mazi Onwuka. <laughs> As a most blah for you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yes, uh, who miss me? Who miss me? I don't yeah, know. I miss you small. I miss you small. Uh, no, say uh, they worry. They worry small, small. I, I need, I need Anki. <laughs> 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 all right and then, making a debut on the Nigeria football focus we have uh, the ism of sports of um, nigeria info lagos chiroski I can know. I can <laughs> we do all right welcome to the show bro how your side yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm great. It's good to be here. Uh, now, Pigeon mm. is speaking. I've been a uh, which, which we, one? We mix <laughs> it. We mix it up. So <laughs> anyone as the spirit leads. Okay, but it, it's good to be here. And uh, I mean, you're mm. doing amazing football fan strap. And good to see Mazi uh, one of the mm. biggest. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It does start to. It does start to. I'm in the midst of. It does. So it increase my kidnap value. <laughs> 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 all right nice to have you man uh here man so how we go do and we are going to start from the mpfl and then we'll talk about the results from this march day 19 the last match day of the mpfl so i'm going to bring the result up on the screen right now so okay that's the table sorry okay so these are results from the mpfl's last match day so it was heartland zero mfm zero abia warriors two katsina united two rangers international Five three lobby stars and eight goal thriller over there. Wow, Dakada two one Niger Tornadoes, Plateau United League Chasers two zero Sunshine Stars, Wigitori zero zero Aimba, Rivers United four one Aqua United in the um, Niger Delta, one of the Niger Delta derbies. <laughs> Remo Stars three zero Quara United, Kano Pillars three one Gombe United, and of course, Shooting Stars one zero. Nasarawa United. So more just divide them. Um Mazi, are you okay with taking Heartland uh, to Wiki Torres? Then um Chidi can take Rivers United to shooting stars. I know Alana Heartland and Kuku, my mm. home team. So make I start from them. Uh, oh, right. yes, Heartland, Heartland, the uh, goalless draw with uh, MFM. Personally, I'd be very disappointed with that result because um, yes, mm. you could see since uh within the name, Erasmus on who come for that team. We see mm -hmm. at last side week five games on beating, but it'd be like say it don't become a shadow of themselves now. Remember, say their last three home games for inside there, then win, even win the likes of Aimba. So you expect yeah. say they will demolish an MFM with the struggle relegation. So I they very mm -hmm. disappointed. See, as I had land no fit uh, make that one count, they can't go mm -hmm. draw with uh, MFM. But uh, as it be MFM strugglers, uh, no write them up because right now they don't they try MFM for their last four. Uh, away games, they never lose for their last four away games. So it would be like, say, they are either they open, they don't they see small, small. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they don't they take them serious. You know, so we don't they enter the business end of the league where we say things don't they strong. MFM, yes, mm -hmm. they never win, but they don't they get good draws, you know, for their last four away games. So they show you team now where they struggle. And then uh, for Atlan, no fit to beat F MFM for that kind of situation, you know, sweet man. I bet flash the scores again, make a DC and master the talk. Okay, um, all right, so the next score line is, um, um, Abia Abia Warriors. Warriors. 
Yes, another disappointing one for me. I expect more from that Abia Warrior side, especially where they go lobby, go beat um, um lobby stars 2 1 for their last game. I expect uh, Imam Amapaka ball to uh, and in boys to do that one, but a uh, very disappointing 2 2. All the goals come for the first half, uh, for that particular mm -hmm. game against a Katsina United. In fact, this now Katsina United, their first away point of the season, it can't be for Imagine. your hand, Abia Warriors, Imagine. for them to get them so. It they very disappointed for your home. I expect Abia Warriors to do better. I know they're very happy with that result. Yes, uh, they give us a lot of hope and promise where they go beat Lobby Stars. But for you to come draw Katina United for your house, maybe they go they say maybe because uh, they play for Kigwe, you know, um, logistics and all. Maybe not the problem. Yeah. Talking about another thing, we get logistics issues now. Rangers, mm -hmm. but it be like say uh, now with the logistic issues on the. So it will, it, before that game against the Lobby Stars, uh, before that game, we hear the coach, what did he name again? Um, uh, what did he this man again? Uh, I don't forget today. The coach of uh, Rangers. Rangers. Ah, wow, they, they see the air tie, they come out. If they talk nah. before that game, say, see. Makaiba. Yes, Abdul Makaiba. Yes, Abdul Makaiba. Mm. Yes. Abdul, they talk before that match for the Oka City Stadium, say, see. They don't come where they go. They play free, uh, free flowing football. Say so the stadium, they're very sweet for them. And uh, yeah. you know, me not make mouth because as he go, we see him say get result. I tell you, say Enugu Rangers away from home this season. They they do very well. In fact, as I talk to you, Enugu Rangers now they get the best away record. See, they don't they complain say that Newi. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. they don't they complain say that Newi Stadium. No, they favor them. You know, they favor them. Whether they go house outside, they, they go win away. But when they come mm -hmm. their own house, they know they feel win. But now they don't give them that new stadium, that Oka City Stadium. We don't see all the praise where you shower on top of the stadium. And even after the match, you talk and say, I tell them, I say, this match, this pitch good and it encourage free flowing football. And we don't see them mm -hmm. and we don't see the results. And I just for the second half, we will see, you know, say, uh, my cab and a man where Sabi play free flowing football. They enjoy free flowing football and they would not yeah. see them. Jakarta, yeah. on the other hand, Yes, uh, again, where they be the struggle, uh, but right now, I be like, say they don't they pick themselves up. Uh, three, uh, three wins on the bounce. I think Ayimba, one of them for that for those wins, you know, it show you say this team now they don't they try to balance themselves uh, for inside the league. Neither to not those that their relegation form still did there because uh, be like say <laughs> they go they go back where they're from. Uh, Plateau mm -hmm. United and Sunshine Stars, very interesting game. In fact, if you get any game, we be say go say a short game, not that game because we expect them. Plateau United. They keep hundred percent record at home. They no lose. They mm -hmm. no drop point. They mm -hmm. no drop mm -hmm. point for the first half mm -hmm. of the season for the new Josh Stadium. They get thirty I'm points say, oh, from all their... from two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, electrical, <laughs> electrical. Are they, are they mm -hmm. like? Are they like the swagger when they put? You know, when in the you know where they celebrate. Very interesting, yeah. coach. Uh, mm -hmm. Very soon, maybe I don't know because the way it be like it will be like uh, whether they try to get new girlfriend. Many clubs now go they bring offer for them, but as it yes, is, very so. good job. You don't do longest mm -hmm. unbeaten run so, now in the league. You said Chidi, yeah. you're saying something. Yeah, in a Chuku story, in a very, I mean, it's a very interesting story. He, yeah, uh, yeah. I think, had humble beginnings, you know, from Lagos, mm. in Lagos, you know, with MFM. Mm. MFM, yeah, mm. yeah. That's all yeah, so MPFA because before then he's been coaching, you know, and yeah. I, mm. I look at now, it's the same story actually with the current MFM head coach, um, Ike Chuku. I think his name is Ike Chuku something. He, yeah. mm. He's also like he, he has humble beginnings too. He was just uh, one of these normal guys who you know um train train guys. Uh, um, toxic. Mm -hmm. You can remember that stadium mm -hmm. uh, with, with shots. Uh, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. In CMS, praise from mm -hmm. boys uh, on that stadium. Mm -hmm. So I was wow. just, uh, and he's doing well. He was just like like an ordinary guy who who knows mm -hmm. his own. Who just mm -hmm. bring boys together to train people, and yeah. then all of a sudden, see where he yeah, is now. Boy, so, you know, and and see where mm. in there now it shows that mm. it shows that you can really dream. And look at Idechiku; he's becoming the hottest property now. From uh, I swear, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. Very, very good story there for for that one. And uh, yes, uh, I don't know that they put the fire for uh, Rivers United. They are back. They pursue them bumper to bumper. The longest exactly. uh, unbeaten run now, eleven games. You know, for mm. that uh, Plateau United side, and no doubt that they show stuff of champions. I don't know. Mm. Now, yeah, it's a make I stop. I'll be make I continue. And Wikitor is um, 008 by International. Um, <coughs> yeah, 
Yes, Wiki Tori, the wicked. <laughs> the terrorizing Yumba. You show you, mm. you know how they talk, how are the mighty falling? If you get any mm. match, we go show you how the mighty are falling at that game. Because last season, yeah. Yumba go that stadium, win Wiki Tori 2 1. Mm -hmm. So to go back mm -hmm. there, go collect draw. Yeah, some people go say away draw a very good result. But when you check and say they win that game 2 1 last season, it will show you how far aim by day from now and how they be last season. This now yeah. game will be saying normally aim by supposed collect points. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. suppose that win, but yes, right now we'll say uh, draw no bad, but um, yes, mm -hmm. you know bad, but uh, aim by uh, they will say this game now give the supposed collect all the three months, but but they say at all at all nine bad pass, so they will collect the yeah. draw like that. Go out, and uh, the only problem mm -hmm. I'll be here, say so we'll get some. Uh, violence for that particular stadium after yeah, the game. Yeah, which uh, Aimba, they released a statement um, addressing that. Yeah, we even yeah, yeah. we even see some news from Aimba this morning and all. Uh, we know they like mm. those ones for football. If you win, mm. uh, you lose or you draw, a uh, collect and with mm. good hearts go. But yeah, uh, me, I will say disappointing result for disappointing result mm. for Aimba, even if not draw, then get for that match. But that mm. one a very disappointing mm. result for them. And then uh, let's just um, flash back to that match. I you touched on the Casina United 2-2 uh, Abia Warriors. Um, Casina United coach um, Aziz Mohamed officially sacked by the club after their result. And uh, he's expected to be replaced by uh, Usman Abdallah. Um, Chidi, your thoughts on uh, Usman Abdallah replacing him? Is it going to make any difference? Well, uh, Abdallah for, for Casina United, Abi? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I've done a good manager, a good manager. Mm. Um, mm. You know, um, Usman Abdallah. You know, he was the former coach of Aimba before he was sacked, and uh, yeah. he was replaced yeah. by Fatai Osh. Uh, mm. I know you remember. Mm. Um, as mm. you remember that too. So, um, Abdallah, he, he's coming back. There are reports showing that he's coming back to the to the league, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To Casino United, possibly. Yeah, I think I think that's a good one. Casino United. Uh, they've not been doing so well, so they are getting a top manager. You know, Abdallah. Mm. He he has, you know, he's got he's got his his uh, degree. He's got the experience. <laughs> yeah, he's got the mm. experience. Mm. He's got mm. he's got the experience. He's got the knowledge of the game. And mm. uh, remember, Aimba were doing well. I mean, they just they just had uh, a a few poor runs, and you know things weren't going so well, and he was yeah. sacked. But yeah. I I think he's a good one. I mean, Casino mm. are fifteenth on the table right now, so yeah, getting. Yeah. At least it will help. It will help keep them uh, in the Premier League. They've got twenty-one points after nineteen games. That's a mm. very poor points uh, per game. Um, on you know. the screen is Aziz Mohammed, by the way, or not Usman Abdallah? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Abdallah is yeah, more old. Yeah. Right here. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bradley goes bald. So mm. I mean, getting Abdallah, I think, I think is a, is is fantastic news for um for mm. Casino United. You know, you know, mm. it's very important that these these teams, especially from the north. Uh, yeah, teams everywhere in the in the mm. MPFL, but I think it's good to see a manager with that sort of experience returning back mm. to the league. And then um, uh, kicking off your, your own analysis now from the um, Rivers United four one Aqua United game. Then we move on to Rebel yeah. Stars, uh, Kano Pillars, and Shooting Stars. You know, it, it was it was very surprising seeing uh, seeing that results uh, at the weekend and, yeah. and following the Rivers United. They, mm. they, you know, did the show say that them get this season? You know, uh, mm. which, which, which is very, you know, they are the one of the most informed team. If you look at play two, and you, if you, after play two, you call Rivers United. You know, Rivers and yeah. up there, they still top the table. And mm. I like, I like waiting the the coach. You know, last season Rivers and came very close to winning. They were almost as good as Aqua United, and people were saying, oh. Uh, Stanley Gumana in year or win go win the MPFL, you know, uh, because mm -hmm. he he won it before with Sharks, you know, before yeah. before the, um, Sharks and Dolphins met. The match. So yeah, so it's it, it's a good season, good season for Rivers United. They are playing good football. The players mm -hmm. they pop, they score, you know. It looks so. Yeah. It, it looks all their players they they inform now. So. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the only way you can win. You can win. You can win the, the title. All your players. I mean, you, you have, have to, to be have like up and about every day. Yeah. So it's mm. uh, it's good to see the boy. It was disappointing for Aqua United. You know, go just win the league. Then the next season, you can't play like this. I know. Mm. I know they they sacked they sacked um, Kennedy Boboy, and mm. you know these days they have um, Kabiru Dogo as the, as a as a coach. Yeah. But he is his place in that team. Needs to be questioned, you know. You know, mm, so when mm. coach don't they, 
uh, when coach, when result, not just the suits, uh, you know, management don't need to think, say, who will be the next person, who will, who will carry come. Mm. So, mm. Yeah. Quite, you know, they, with the amount of money where that club, where did they invest into that club, they're not supposed to be where they are. They're not, they're not even in the top five. Currently, they did, mm. uh, they did sit on the table and, you know, we just yeah. 27 points. And when you compare mm. with the points where the others get, you know, it's not good enough. But, Exactly. But let's see. They can still turn their season around. Uh, we have a few mm. more games yet left. Uh, I mean, we, we just enter second standout, stanza of the season, so yeah, many more yeah. games. Uh, mm. I will quickly talk on Enugu Rangers, uh, one of the highest scoring teams, or one of the highest scoring games for the weekend. Enugu Rangers, Lobby mm. Stars. You know, mm. I have a friend, a childhood friend from who plays for Rangers, Bala Akitunde. You know, yeah. um, great. I, I, I'm, I'm sure Ingo, Ingo, like come on. Uh, on this show, mm. maybe in the future, is is a mm. is a right back, really good player, yeah. Uh, yeah. and uh, you know I'm I'm just happy on a personal note for him seeing him and his team doing well and seeing mm. and the Andrew Rangers another team where they do well, especially away from home this season they've been mm -hmm. and they picked up a, a few number of draws and wins away from home this season and I'm very happy for them. Lobby Stars mm. they are a, a team you know when they win when less they are, in five games. Yeah, it's it's win a less in five games. It's a very terrible mm -hmm. form for them where they are because, mm. you know, and they are, they are facing relegation. Uh, and these yeah. team who are uh, the Bainway side, you know, nobody wants Lobby, uh, Lobby Stars to go relegation. They're one of the top teams in the MPFL. So, yeah. remember them last year, they were very good. In fact, they've been, mm -hmm. this has been their poorest season. You, you know, yeah. with, with the circumstance of the season and they did 19th on the That's relegation now. Mm. Yeah, my mm -hmm. MFF, they tie apart together. See, <laughs> they're, 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 let's do this. <laughs> but mm -hmm. you know, it's. Uh, I really, I really hope they can, they can come out from the trenches because right yeah. now they're mm -hmm. trenches. Mm -hmm. You know, they're the and, trenches, yeah. bro. <laughs> and the uh, Remo uh, Stars, the trees are required United. Any yeah, surprises don't, there? Don't talk about Remo Stars. I'm happy for what they are mm -hmm. doing. I'm very mm. happy for Remo Stars. Group of bunch of young players coming together, playing good yeah. football. Uh, remember, yeah. this team come from NNL, and it's not easy. Usually, when you come from NNL, people would say you go struggle, but Remo Stars held it on on top of the table for weeks. Yes. And, mm. you know, just knowing that uh, they are, they've dropped a little a little bit from there, they're still in the top four. And look, mm -hmm. is this, this team is going to be one of the miracles of the Niger of Nigerian football. It shows that yeah. if you put a group of players together have a long term plan for them, they can achieve success. You Something know. will work, yeah. Yeah, look at the way mm -hmm. they play. You know, for a team mm -hmm. we just come from NNL, see where they did, where the likes of mm -hmm. Lobby Stars who don't take for league, see where they did. You know, I don't say form, mm -hmm. form the the flaunt trade, but uh, I'll mm -hmm. give kudos to Remo Stars and the management. You know, they are doing they are doing a great job. Quora United mm -hmm. sacked about 11 12 players. Uh, two <laughs> weeks ago. That needs to be drama, like, even though they tell them, say, you know, they know they don't get the right to fee sack all mm -hmm. those players. I don't be surprised where they did because I mean, this is one of the uh good teams, you know. Quora, 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 United, Quora, um, Quora, Quora, now one of the uh, one of the teams they get good stadiums for, for the MPFL, you know, their stadium yeah. no bad, makes sense. Yeah. Make Oh, them are shooting stars. Sometimes I'm confused. I said that we shooting star stadium, um, but, <laughs> but yes, Quora United. Uh, I think mm. they have to find a way. Uh, they have to find a way. They're not looking where they did for table self. Let's say they did around. Uh, they know uh, well. They did fifth, so it, it's not so bad. It's just that they've been mm. having some poor form uh, recently. Yeah. So they need to find a way mm. to you know get back to winning ways. I believe they can. They can get back to winning ways. Uh, they have mm. 31 points. Uh, you know they've uh, they've just they've lost about six games away from home. That means they don't they they, they don't pick up some points away from home, some good points. So yeah, but, uh, yeah. you know tracking those players would always put a dent anytime you talk about Quarry United. I, I don't know of if course. finally been sacked, but I hope that something is being done and some of mm. them are really retained. Um, so Remo Stars, I'm happy for them. Like I said, I don't think yeah. they might they might not be in continental places, but anywhere they finish. You know, as far as they, they finish, they no relegate. I think I'm very mm. good with that. Play to United, the team everybody talk about. Uh, I'm, mm. I'm happy talking about this team. Fidel is Ilechiku. He's done, mm. you know, in be like magician now. We just uh, wave a magic wand all over the team. Maybe <laughs> player, but, uh, anything um, he touches. Uh, anything he touches, he turns to gold mm. and goals mm. for his team. Because one of the top scoring teams of the MPFL this season. And that's why, yeah. you know, if you don't score goals, you don't... If you know score goals, you know if you win games. So, 
mm-hmm. goals win you games, you know. If you look at their goals scored, 22 goals. They're the highest scoring team in the NPFL this season. And they're the yeah. least, they're one of the least, they're joint least conceding team, you know, mm-hmm. alongside Ramos Stars. It shows you how well the defense is. If you want to win a league, you have to have a strong attack and a strong defense, you know. Of and, course, um, defense you win know, you titles. <laughs> yeah, play two. Uh, mm-hmm. Sorry, play to play to don't don't score twenty goals. I mean, they look reverse United point. Twenty don't score mm-hmm. twenty goals, so they're the second highest scoring team in the MPFL. Why yeah. they get they don't consider goals? So it, it's still mm-hmm. it's they're still in there. They're just after reverse United, you go see play to United. Of course, they did second. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. good defense, um, strong attack, forty one goals scored. Uh, I think they are flying. You know, play to remember play mm-hmm. to were struggling last season. That's why they sacked their manager. I think it was yeah. uh, Mikaiba who was in charge. Yeah, last season, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. look, Fidelis Um, uh, you know, when in the heartland, he say he won't play, he won't play um, scientific football, he don't carry that mm-hmm. scientific football and calculator, go play to and you know, see how well they're doing. Uh, Philly, Philly, one mm-hmm. of their players, you know, one of the mm-hmm. very young player, but he's very good player as well. He's doing well for them this season. I think he scored in that game, in that yeah, game yeah. at the weekend. So, mm-hmm. the opening yeah, goal. I think he's yeah, mm. and look, how did I know Zukefili? Aside that, I mean, he's been with Plato for like three, four years. It, it was with the MPFL TV um, TV project last season, last season, and and that's how we need our games back on television. You know, mm, you know yeah, he, true. I, remember also there are some really good players from uh, we saw last season. Samuel Stone, I think Samuel Stone, uh, one of the players I think with Nassau United also. So really good players the MPFL. Make I just move very quickly. Anyway, I don't want to talk about Sunshine Stars. I think they are relegation bound team. It go be they go need more than uh, they go need miracle to survive this season and not go down. Uh, even mm. though say they did eight for they get twenty six points, but I really don't trust. They they don't know how to pick up points away from home. And you know if you want That's to the problem. do any IB, you got to try to do something away from home at yeah. least, even if it's one point here, one point there. Yeah, and and why I know to trust them because they are one of the teams where they they oh where we're for the for the league, you know, and yeah. uh, yeah. the gunners as they call them. You know, Akura mm. a place we get special place for my heart because I do mm. six years for Akura. I school for Akura, mm. so you know, it, it, I really hope they don't relegate. They're one of the old teams. I know Benga Gumbote. I don't. I think he's still with them. No, I think he's left them. I don't know that he's with Remo now. He's with Remo now. So mm. it was with them, and they they were having issues with payments and all that. He had to leave. So, but they're mm. eight. They're not doing so bad, but. You know, this is the second stanza of the season, and this is where all the Mago Mago starts to happen. But, but uh, let's hope for that. <laughs> uh, now, all the old fight to start to happen. Wiki Torres mm. Aimba. Well, I, I know, game Aimba, the thing with Aimba, uh, you know, uh, uh, what's him with the coach? Let's just, let's just, um, Chidi, let's just touch on the final two games, eh? Uh, yeah, just the final oh, two games. That's oh, Kano Pillars 3 1 Gombe United, and then uh, Shooting Stars 1 0 Nasarawa. Well, well, like like mm-hmm. I said, like for so I think Cano Pillars mm-hmm. and Sunshine Stars they wear the same trousers because they, they they also struggle to win games away from home, and yeah, uh, for, yeah. I'm not I'm not very excited about them. I don't know. Um, I, I really don't know what they're going to do this season. They are 11th on the table, but then you know you can't rule them out. They might still they're one of the newly promoted team from the NNL last season. Shooting Stars mm-hmm. Nasra, this game was played in the in the uh, under the lights. Yeah, you know Nasra. I I thought there were going to be more goals because. Uh, it's not usual we see games played in the night in the night in the MPFL. Exactly, it was just, and it was good for shooting stars. They're not doing so bad. Mm. They are, mm. um, you know, they are somewhere in 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 around ninth on the table. Well, mm-hmm. they should be doing better because they don't give them everything. You be like, pick what you send, go school, give them, buy and book, buy and everything. Um, <laughs> go the carry third. Go the into this. I feel like with yeah. the resources. They put into uh, shooting stars. They're supposed to do better than where they did uh, right now. Mm, mm, mm. All right, nice one, Ch- um, Chido. Let me let's just so we are the half, midway point of the season, and uh, let's just go through some key um, statistics from uh, the season so far with 19 games played. So is um total number of penalties awarded 38. Total number of penalties scored 30. That means eight have been either saved or missed. Total number of goals scored away 101 goals. Total number of goals scored at home 260. Total um, highest goal scorer currently is Rafi Ishak, followed uh, of Rivers United, um, followed by his um, Rivers United teammate okay. um, Chijoki Akuneto, and then um, the third place I think um, a player. Uh, what's his name again? Ben <laughs> in third place. All right, moving on. Um, top of the table, Rivers United 42 points um, being chased. 
aggressively by Platy United on 41 points. The best attacking team is Rivers United with 31 goals. And the best defensive teams are Rivers United and Rainbow Stars with just nine goals conceded. Worst defensive team is Heartland and Dakada with 28 goals conceded each. So it's looking like a good season. And this is the midway point. So all the teams, they have currently gone on recess and they will be back for the second uh, part of the season after we don't uh, struggle our two struggle with Ghana we hopefully no go end that struggle so <laughs> on that note we move on to the next stanza of the show where we'll talk about Nigerian players abroad and let's start from uh, Akin Kumi Amo scoring in um, FC Copenhagen's game 1-0 win for them over the weekend his first goal Lucky for the goal, club and a goal now, goal, goal now, goal, Chidi, goal now, goal. <laughs> but I, 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 I see that goal, and I, mm. I feel like this is one player for the future. I don't know why he's not yeah. with, the, with the team, but I think moving mm. to Copenhagen is a big, big um, boost for him. So now, yeah. when in the um, everybody fits him, I think he was with one Finland club one time, or one mm. one of these um, uh, Viking uh, um, yeah. people yeah. 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 at these Scandinavian clubs. Well, yeah. You know, he's still in Scandinavia because he's Copenhagen and he's in Denmark. So, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really happy for him. Mm -hmm. And then, um, uh, moving on to the next player, top performer. I think um, it was a while ago, but still, over the weekend and uh, close to the weekend. Alex, you will be with the winning goal for Everton. Even though they just lost yeah, recently the FA Cup, but then in the Premier League, they are struggling. And then he... How will they talk about this in, 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 in the nine minutes of the game, coming on, <laughs> scoring that goal and giving them three points against Newcastle United. We don't think good form until the Mitchells. It was a good one for Iwobi. And, uh, you know, the national, this is our Super Eagle squad because of the call-up. And I feel it's also justified, even if he wasn't there, even if he wasn't on that suspension. You understand because his form for everything has been really uh, down lately, yeah, and we yeah. should always call our best players with the best form at the moment. Moving on, the next player on the list, and uh, one of our three men we sabi for this episode. So I'm just going to blow the horn for three of them as I start naming them one by follow. <laughs> first on the list, the player with the first hat trick uh, this uh, MPFL season, Chi Jokes. Akuneto with three goals for Rivers United in their four-goal rush in the first half, which end up in, ended up in a 4-1 win over Aqua United. So, Chidoke Akuneto, one of three. Uh, man, we Sabi for this week. Let's blow it again for Chidoke. Nice one, Chidoke. And, of course, <laughs> moving on to the big man. Odion <laughs> Fire. Odion Fire. Three goals for Al Hilal in their 4-2 uh, win over the weekend. And, of course, this man, they informed top scorer in the league. And uh, before he joined Al Hilal, I think they were in fifth position behind his former his former club, Al Shabab. But now they are in second position, uh, best of the rest teams. The, the team in first position in that league is topping everybody else with, I think, about nine points or so. So, Odion Igalo with a hat trick just before coming in to um, the, the Super Ego setup, which is a good one. So, nice one, Odion Igalo. And then. Fire. Our players are fire with this. Uh, Ghana is in trouble. Yeah, so. Victor, oh, oh, yeah, Sammy. Victor, 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 oh, 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 Victor, <laughs> Victor, Victor, Simon, oh, Victor, 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 Simon, oh, Victor, Victor, <laughs> from those in his last two games, the first Nigerian player to hit 10 goals in this are uh, in two back to back seasons, in two seasons in general, mm -hmm. so not just back to back. The fourth African player to do so. I mean, of all the African great players, they don't play for that league. Victor yeah. Simon banging two goals as Napoli beat, um, I think it was Verona 2 1. Uh, very, very important goals, keeping them, dragging them along in the title yeah. race. And congratulations to all of them. We don't win man race a bit for this week. So it was Victor Simon, Odion Igalo, and Chidoke Akuneto. Thank you. And uh, we appreciate all the hard work. Man race a bit for this week. And of course, if man race a bit, they enter the room. This is just the way to welcome him. <laughs> You know, I'm, hey, I'm hey, happy hey. for Igalo. Eh? I'm very happy for Igalo mm. because he left Al Al he, uh, he left uh, Al Shabab. Al Shabab. And I've been the fear say, I've been the fear say, you know, in this score many goals for Al Shabab. She, he was mm. the top scorer mm. then, and I the fear maybe uh, the goal yes, was. But 
you know, mm-hmm. joining our mm-hmm. our Hilal and continuing that goal. It's called at the FIFA Club World Cup. The only Nigerian, I think, who scored at the FIFA yeah. Club World record. The guy on a legend, you know, if you look at uh, where we're mm-hmm. now, legend, mm-hmm. the only Nigerian guy, I, 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 United, uh, and yeah. of course. So the only Nigerian squad, the FIFA Club World Cup. It, it, mm. it was a smart move. It was a smart. Sometimes mm. you need some things for your life to make you vex. So you go free, take you to mm. another. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I've been there. I've been there. Of course. But I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's a nice one from Odion, and then he's the top scorer in the league with 19 goals. The best way they chase him for back is on 15 goals. Al Hilal, currently, like I told you before, before he joined, they were fifth position behind Al Shabab, the former team. And then after he has joined, now they are currently 11 points behind league leaders uh, Al Itidad, and just they're the this top informer club account. now with two points, and they have two games in hand. Sorry. Oh, two games still remain. I'd say this year's season. Yes, they are on 23 games played. Al Shabab already on 25, and they top them with two points. So that's possibly eight points if they win those two outstanding matches. But as we know, outstanding match, no be outstanding points until you play the game, win mm-hmm. the game. So it's a very, very nice one for Johnny Gallo. Hopefully, this form will convert into the Super Eagles, and then we move up uh, as we move wait, on I, to I, a I, game toxic, against toxic, Ghana. Wait, before you move, before yeah. you move, yeah. who you, yeah. you say will start go strike for Nigeria? How you see that striking department? Oh, see, man, oh, Victor, Victor, oh, oh see, man, oh. <laughs> I want, I want, I, yeah, I think you're hearing a song from this side of the show. There's a song coming from this side of the show. <laughs> Victor, oh, see, man, oh, Victor. <laughs> oh, Victor, oh, see, man, oh, Victor. Oh, I want for you. Ha! <laughs> Chidi, you were there at the Slim Balogun Stadium. When we, I think when we lost one of our last uh, walk of walk, 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 I mean, we drew that. We struggled to come out of that game. You saw what Victor Ronsote, eh? In Midan, the Brits. The whole crowd was shouting, oh, see, man. Oh, see, man. You know, I mean, that boy in the... Yeah, he's an inspiration, I beg. That's the way they play with him in full chest. And, eh, she. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and they tell you... <laughs> in face show in shoe shine and in shoe shine white all right we'll just take a couple of comments in the comment section and then we'll call it a day um all right let's see comment from james uduchuku nice job my people really love what you're doing thank you so much um okay and then a comment from i think this is from okay chuku kenneth he says um, Victor. Oh, Victor. Oh. <laughs> I think he was singing along. <laughs> <that was wrong. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And Tosa Hegbe says, uh, spot on analysis. Thank you very much. And then a uh, final comment here from uh, Sydney Ibokwe. You, good you guys are keeping us updated with the Nigerian League. All right. So that's about it. Thank you so much for joining the show, guys. You can follow Mazi on Woka on his social media handles. That's it right there on his display name at the Mazi on Woka. Just follow him up on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, he's uh, a king, a uh, senior man from Football Republic and uh, Wazuba FM Portacourt. A senior man, I always did you know, for you. I got the respect and uh, respect, uh, Mazi Woka. And of course, you know, Steve, the ASMO of sports. Um, from another Nigeria king. Info Lagos, another king again. Oh, this show is king, again, man. This show is king. <laughs> Chido, thank yeah. you so much for joining us. And this was your debut. Very, very nice having you here today. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Mm, all right, nice one, man. On that note, we'd like to say good luck to the Super Eagles. We have much more Nigeria football comment content coming up for the rest of the week. Abuja, we are coming and we hope you'll be with us. We will go watch the match so that we we'll can interview so that we can share emotions and share joy as we watch the Super Eagles on Friday against Ghana. And we have match preview. We have some content coming up before the game on Friday and then before the game on Tuesday. So it's hot, hot, hot Niger football, Niger football and some more Niger football before club football returns uh, the week after. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like this video and subscribe if you've not done that already. And uh, we'll see you soon.